The most memorable moment far and away was the alpha reset. There's no question about it. I think I knew I knew I knew before the alpha reset that TPM was right. The coaching was on point. It was, you know, it, it felt like I was learning and growing. I thought I knew what I was facing when I went there. And when I got there, it ended up being something completely different. And it ended up for me um, being about my being about fatherhood is what it was about for me. Before the Alpha Reset, I didn't want kids. Right. I think even that early. That was the, the demon in my closet, so to speak. And coming out the other end of the Alpha Reset, coming home. I mean, you remember what that was like. I just kind of came home and I was like, it's, we're good. Let's, let's start a family. Yeah. And then when he came back from the Alpha Reset, it was like this completely different view on it. And, you know, you realized it had impacted you in a much deeper way than you even let yourself admit. Yeah, and I always thought, you know, I'll, I'll have kids someday. But someday, right, kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Like someday is, is, is the tomorrow that will never come. And then coming back from that alpha reset, I was like, okay, today's the day, let's, let's do it. I think I had uh, uh, a lot of self-limiting beliefs beforehand. I think I had a, a, a low, a self-imposed ceiling that was low. After the Alpha Reset, I mean, really everything changed. Um, you know, that ceiling was non-existent after that, I think. You know, business got better, relationships got better, became a father, we got number two on the way. We sat down, I remember that that day we sat down at the dining room table at the little two bedroom rental that we had in town. And we wrote down our ideal average day. And it, was, it, was, it wasn't even a year, it was about nine months before we, we, we bought 30 acres in the Washington State Cascades. We built a, a three story house, we're completely off grid. Basically we built our bought and built our dream property. Yeah. This is, I don't think we're ever going to move from here. <laughs> yeah, still really not sure how that worked out, yeah. but it did. Um, and I would say Michael's belief that we could do basically whatever definitely is filters into our relationship and to me, um, because I think prior to this, neither of us would have, we would have thought about this, like, oh, that would be nice. But then never had pursued it. It would have been a passing yeah. thought, yeah. Um, but be, really being in TPM and being surrounded by other men and business leaders with that kind of similar mindset really um, shifted mine as well so that it just removed those barriers, those limiting beliefs. It removed a lot of those for me. And it just kind of became a situation where my mantra was and still is, what could it hurt? Let's try it. Um, it's difficult to surround myself with high-performing people, <laughs> um, and you know, with with other entrepreneurs and business owners, and and just people who, you know, want to do well for themselves, for their families, and for their communities. It's just it would be difficult for us me to do that any other way. And doing it through through TPM has been. Um, I mean, it's just been a game changer. It's something that I had a lot in high school when I was playing hockey. It's something that I had in my 20s when I was playing in a rock and roll band. You know what I mean? It's like this kind of like team camaraderie thing that you just, it's, you, you, it's less accessible, I think, as you get older. Um, and I think it's something that I think it's important. It certainly is, is important for me. I think it's hard to make friends as you get older and because of that, you tend to not let go of friends that might be holding you back. That's money. Yeah. And because of the brotherhood, I mean, it's not that he's like, you know, excommunicated people from his past, but the people he's outgrown, he will still, you know, stay in contact with, but it's not trying to hold on to them just because they're a person with shared experiences, because he knows that 
he can he has people that he can you know rely on and be with um, at this stage in life which is not something that comes easily as an adult <laughs> I think as our daughter grows and changes every day comes with new challenges and being in TPM and being a part of the Brotherhood he has resources and other guys experiences with other kids to rely on for better or worse sometimes <laughs> <laughs> telling us, you know, it's this is the easiest time, <laughs> but it only gets worse from here. But, um, but having other guys in, you know, who've been through the same or similar struggles has been, I think, really helpful for him to find his patience um, and continue to just be a phenomenal dad.